Okay, we're looking at the um, introduction to um, Joomla and how to use Joomla. I'm in the administrative uh, back end of my Joomla site, this test site that I've created. And there's the front end, there's the back end, the front end. I'll go back to home. Okay, and now on the back end, last time we were talking about components and how components are the main, the main area of the site. Um, in fact, this front page manager, this is a component also. This uh, uh, banner, news feeds, this whole thing is, um, these are all the components that ship with Joomla. Now, we move from that, we talk about some of the other aspects of Joomla, and that is, we're going to talk this time about modules, plugins, and um, templates. Okay, so the modules uh, and plugins, let's talk about those first. So on the front page, you'll see here I said that uh, the main component is this news portal right here. This is the, the news thing right here, actually, and that is this component, the news, uh, I'm not sure if it's the news feeds, no, I think it's the um, front page manager right there, let's see here, front page manager, Joomla, yeah, these are all the articles that are in the um, news section, it's the front page component essentially, it's the main tool, and then um, modules on the front page are on the sides usually over here on the left side and then on the right side so we're looking at some modules here so this is a module it's a it happens to be a menu also menu module and this is in a module position this is in a module position this is a module over here the pole this is um, a component but it also has a module that it can sit in so this is a, a module for the polling component and this is a module who's online advertisement over here and we'll take a look at that right now so if I go over here to extensions module manager we can look at all these modules okay so I'm gonna look down here and you'll see how it sees the pos it says position right and if we look down here at the right position right here you'll see there it is polls who's online advertisement right and if we go to the home page you'll see polls who's online advertisement right so once again just like I did with the article if I wanted to turn one of these off I could just unpublish this um, who's online let's unpublish that just click on that and that unpublishes it now I'll go back to the front page and hit refresh and you'll see now who's online has disappeared right um, now this polls right here you see this polls I could also change that too so if I go down here to the polls I'll just click on polls and I'll do something fun here I'll change the position from right to let's say uh, left and I'll hit apply okay and then go back to the front page and hit refresh and then the polling engine is going to that polling component is now you can see on the left hand side right so I just moved it from the right module position to the left module position and then they're stacked in order so polls obviously at the top right now and then the main menu and the resources so I'll just put that back to right all right, and hit apply. Okay, and I'll hit save to close the window. So that's a little bit about the modules. Um, and then um, plugins. Plugins are running in the background. So the plugin um, in the book talked about a plugin is doing things that are running in the background that you might not see, but that are actually being used. Uh, quite effectively to give your site functionality. For instance, this editor right here. There's an editor called a Tiny MCE. I have an editor Tiny MCE. I've also got the uh, No Editor. Turn off the editor, and then I've got another editor here that's unpublished called X Standard Light. Now these ship with Joomla, right? And this is important. So if I um, if I unpublish this editor, then when I go to edit an article, I won't have uh, a nice little WYSIWYG, you know, bold and font tool to
to edit my uh, article with. So this is adding functionality. It's giving me a WYSIWYG editor to edit, edit my ar articles with. And it's a plugin, Editor Tiny MCE. If you wanted to see it in action, all you have to do is go to your article manager, right, and open up an article. Right, and then right here, this is Tiny MCE right here, this little WYSIWYG editor where I can click in the article and type new text, right, and I can change the font. This is my Tiny MC editor. So it's adding functionality to my site, but I don't really see it on the, the front page per se, right? It's giving functionality to the site. I'll hit close. If I just hit close, it won't save. And let's check to see our time here. Okay, we're doing well. And then um, the template manager, this is cool. We'll take a look at that. Right now, these are the templates that ship with um, Joomla. And a template changes the look of your site. So the core Joomla uh, installation is, is the same, but you can change the look of a Joomla site by changing the template. Okay, so here's this front page, right? You can see that got kind of a blue look. Does it look familiar? It kind of looks like Dan's courses, right? I'm going to click on this template that we're using right now, the Rook Milky Way uh, template, and I'll change the color here to red and the background to red, and then I'll hit apply. And now if I go to the front page and hit refresh, it's going to change the look of the template completely. And now you see I have a whole new look on my template. Now that functionality was written into the Rook Milky Way template. And by the way, this is the same template that I've used to do Dan's courses with. Um, so if it looks familiar, that's because it is. Dan's courses is built with the same exact template. I just used the default because I needed something quick to put my site up last year. And we'll talk about that. I'll talk about my site and how I came to be later. So I'm going to close that and let's say I want to try out a different template. I'll just click on this one, right? JA Purity, right? Joomlart uh, Purity and I'll make that the default. Click here, make it default, right? And then go back to my front page and hit refresh. And now, same information, right? There's my main menu, right? Here's my um, front page uh, article that I changed. Here's my polling on the right. The who's online is still disabled. Advertising, all the stuff. Same stuff, but a completely different look to the site. It's not looking too hot. Um, it's looking better with the other template. But this is a nice template that you could use. And I could just change the whole look of my site by just changing that um, default template. And if you want to try out bees, you just select the next one and hit default, and you can take a look at the other one. But I'll turn it back for right now. Okay. Then, language manager. Um, in the book that we have, uh, talks about here, you can see the language. English is the only language that I have installed right now. But you could install other languages within to Joomla, and um, that's pretty fancy. And there's administrator and you can, so I've got the administrative side, I also have English installed as language. So you can have multiple languages supported in Joomla. I haven't used that tool too much, but we'll have to do it for the class. And then in these tools, um, you can, uh, we'll talk about these later for right now, not super important as we're just learning the basics of um, Joomla, but we'll talk about them later. Um, if you have two people working on a site and they both uh, have a, a article checked out and then they don't, you know, they're editing an article, let's say, and they don't hit save or close, then you might not be able to open the article. You can check it in right here and that'll check in the articles. And you can send mail to people, mass mail tool, uh, clean cash, any of those things. So just, um, and then over here, the help menu, uh, Joomla help files, it might find it helpful, might not. And then system info will tell you a little bit about your system and stuff about your PHP settings, your configuration file settings, all that kind of stuff, which we'll also get into later. So the next thing we're going to learn is how to work more with our articles.